In this video, we're going to respond to a couple of questions that we had on positioning text using boundary boxes. And one of the questions was, can I use the corners of the box? And yes, you can. If you want to go and transform and say that I want to move to an origin, I can select any corner of the box and move the text to the origin very quickly. If I wanted to move it to another point, I could do that as well. I would have to then translate it. You can also translate any point from the boundary box to another point. In this case here, I can use my transform. And I'm going to use my translate to a plane function. Select the items I want to translate. And now I'm going to use my source. Instead of being the midpoint in this case, I'm going to use the bottom corner here. And I'm going to say my destination is this random point over here. Or I can say my source is this point here. My destination is this point over here. Or any other point that I'd like to have. So in my source, I'll take this top corner, destination, this point over here. I didn't keep any of this at the moment because I didn't really want to clutter up my screen. But any point you want to use as a reference and destination, you can do. It could be a midpoint. I could make it a, a temporary point like I did before. Um, I could go ahead and say I want to do the same translation in this point here and say to a plane select my items as I did before when I end my selection I can even select a point that doesn't necessarily exist so I can say I want to pick my source as this top point here my destination point is going to be a point that I make a temporary point right here. So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility in positioning when you use a boundary box. It gives you more points to select and use to position text. The next question I received is the customer wanted to make it a point out here that was tangent to the top and the side of the circle. You can do that. You can do it a couple different ways or many different ways. If I create a line here and a line here, I can certainly use this intersection point here to do that. But I find it just as easy to use a boundary box. So I can just go, let's get rid of these. For the example, nice boundary box, and I select my entities and selection, and just say rectangle. And we got the same point here, then we have extra, extra points in the other quadrants if we wanted to use them for some reason. There's nothing wrong with making two lines tangent but I just find it to be a little bit more work. Thank you for watching. 